Welcome to the reading of the Book of Psalms. Bienvenidos a la lectura de los Salmos. Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, the day before New Year's Eve. Yes. Wow, I know a lot of you are preparing the food, the clothes, the party, the music. Amen. Uh, we're going to be eating somewhere. The festivities. <laughs> Amen. So today we're in Psalm 148. Uh, it's not known who wrote it, but it's called Praise to the Lord from Creation. And bear with my, bear with my throat here. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He made a decree which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all the depths, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven, and he has exalted the horn of his people the praise of all his saints, of the children of Israel, a people near to him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. In verse 4, it says, Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Genesis 1 and 7 says that, Thus God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. You know, there is a belief running around the world, the, the Big Bang Theory, right? Mm -hmm. That this explosion came, came into being, and that's how the worlds were created. Well, that's not true. The Bible says God spoke, he commanded, and they came into existence, mm -hmm. right? God spoke. And you know, all three... God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit were present at the creation Amen. of the world. Mm -hmm. They were all present. God spoke, the word accomplished, and the Holy Spirit was hovering over the face of the great deep. Yes. So they were there, and it wasn't a big bang. Amen? Amen. It was not a big bang. So, you know, be careful the things that you hear, <laughs> uh, that you investigate. Amen. You investigate whether they're true or not. And this in the natural, how can you believe that from an explosion, mm -hmm. from chaos, order, perfect mm -hmm. order, yes, was set in. Amen. It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. No sense at all. Mm -mm. Hebrews 11 and 3 says, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen are not made of things which are visible. Amen? Now I want to take you back to the book of Genesis. In chapter 1, verse 10, it says, God called the dry land earth and the seas. God saw that it was good. Verse 12, the grass, the herb, the tree, God saw that it was good. Verse 18, the light, God saw that it was good. Verse 25, the animals, God saw that it was good. But listen to verse 31. It was after God, actually I'm not reading it verb by verb, I'm just relaying. It was after God created male and female that God saw everything that he had made and indeed it was very good. Amen? Everything else was good. But when he made male and female, it was very good. So what he made, he made you, 
He looks at you and says, you're very good. Amen. No Amen. matter what we look like, you know, bad hair day, <laughs> no makeup, but we we are good, very good in God's eyes. Amen. Amen. In verse 14, which is the last sentence, I believe, it said, a people near him. And in Hebrews 4, 14 through 16, let me, I forgot to put the sticky. Oh, it came right to it. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hebrews 4, 14 through 16. It says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Why am I reading that? Because sometimes you may not see yourself as very good, like I said earlier. Whether you feel unworthy, you failed at something, you're not enough, you can't do this, you, you're, you're just, you know, I mean, some people go as far as say, I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm doing, but God says you are very good. Amen. You're precious in his sight. Yes, yes. You are precious and honored in his sight. And God has plans for you. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Just think of that. Whenever you feel like down, you feel like you're a failure, God created. God created all these things for you to enjoy. The heavens, the heights, the angels, the host, the moon, the light, the heavens, everything was created. He says in his word that he create, he, he uh, desires to go, do you good and make you happy. And Amen. he made all things for you to enjoy. So before the end of the year, go outside and enjoy. Yes. Enjoy the grass and enjoy the flowers. Enjoy what he created. And just picture Picture yourself back in the day of creation. Amen. It's like pay attention. Yes. It's like I was saying in the Spanish session, uh, this psalmist reminds us and that all creation, all creation mm -hmm. should praise God. Amen. And it's like a big symphony. You know, mm -hmm. we're part of it. It was like she was saying, we were the best part of the creation of God. Yes. You know, the human being. So it's like, do we really pay attention? Do we really praise God for his creation? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we pay more attention to a painting, a beautiful mm -hmm. building, which is good. But, you know, what about what God created? Do we give him credit enough for that? Right. Do we say, thank you. Thank you for the grass. Thank you for the sun. The, the sun, if it was to move just like a little inch closer to the earth, mm -hmm. will be burning. Everything is precise where yes. he put it. Do we even pay attention to that and say, thank you? So the psalmist here reminds us that all creation, including us, we need to praise God more often. Mm -hmm. So it's like thanking the Lord for everything that we have and even for what we don't have, mm -hmm. okay? And it's like, he said, this is a reminder. He reminds the people back then and the Bible speaks to us today. Let us all, all his creation, praise the Lord because he is worthy. Amen. 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 So we pray you have a great day. You know, we pray for you at the beginning. Uh, before we start our session, we yes. pray for you that God would give you ears to hear and an understanding heart, an understanding mind, so you can grab hold of the Word of God and receive it for yourself. Amen. Amen. So as always, now tomorrow we're doing two Psalms, 140, Psalm 149 in the morning. And then Psalm 150 later on in the day, like the evening, the evening. time. Mm -hmm. So um, that way we end the year with the last psalm. Amen. Amen. We said we were going to do it, and we did it. Yes. With God's help, because let me tell you, sometimes we just didn't feel it. We Amen. will celebrate New Year's Eve with a big bang. We yes. did it. <laughs> <laughs> and not the Big Bang Theory. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so as always, bye-bye. Shalom.